Hi guys, welcome to my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play Part 11. So before I go any further, I'd like to show you the damage I've caused uh, in this in this tier 1 while I was off screen. I actually went ahead and defeated each of these tier 1 duelists 10 times. And by doing so, I unlocked a new booster pack, this, this uh, Harpy Lady booster pack. And um, they each had something different to say uh, after the fifth time I beat them and then after the tenth time I've um, beaten them. So after the tenth time that Tristan lost, he said, Wow, I lost ten times. Well, you should you should take on the tougher duelist. So, and then Taya said, um, Well, you should challenge me in a dance battle instead. I'm really good at, good at that. And when Yuki lost for the tenth time, he said, "Oh, the other, my other half will be really upset with me." When, and he's talking about the Pharaoh, obviously. And Joey said, "Well, maybe I'm not cut out for this." And Bakura said, "Well, I'm usually good at board games, but I lost ten times, so I can't make any excuses." So the next time, I will um, definitely show you my fifth and tenth victories in the uh, upcoming tiers when I do um, duel them for the 5th um, and 10th times. And before I uh, start any duels, I'd like to also review with you my main deck because I did gather up a bunch of rare and powerful cards along the way as I've beaten them 10 times each. So I'm going to start off with the Blast Sphere. It's a new card in my deck. And you must have seen it um, in an earlier part where I did attack um, one of my opponents who had his face down on the field and equipped to my monster and then it got destroyed and I received direct damage equal to the equipped monster's attack. So it's a very good card to have on my deck. And also got an extra crawling dragon in my deck because it's 1600 and it's not too bad. Also got this rare cyber jar in one of the magazines. In case you don't know what it does, it destroys all monsters on the field. And then we pick up five cards from the top of our respective decks, show the cards to each other, and then immediately special summon any monsters of level 4 or, or lower among them on the field in face-up attack or face-down defense. The rest of the cards you hold on to, and I got the Dark Magician out of the Dark Magician pack. Got Delinquent Duo, where you pay a thousand life points and you randomly select and discard one card from your opponent's hand. Your opponent then selects and discards another card from his or her hand. So that's a good way to get your opponent off their game by having them discard two cards. So I've also got two Giant Soldier of Stones in my deck, so my deck is more defensive than before. Also got Graceful Charity, which is a pretty good spell card. It allows, it allows me to draw three cards from my deck, and then I discard two cards from my hand. And I got the really good spell card called Heavy Storm, which allows me to destroy all magic and trap cards on the field. So I think Komori Dragon has already been in my deck. Oh yeah, Magician of Faith was my newest card that I just got in the Harpy Lady deck. So, I, I'm sure you know what it does already. It's a flip effect. It allows you to select a magic card from your graveyard and return it to your hand. It's a good way to get a magic card and reuse it over again, like a Raigeki or Swords of Revealing Light, in case you need it in a duel. And what else did I pick up? I added Rogue Doll to my deck. 1600 attack is not bad. And what else? Sword of Dark Destruction I added to my deck. So I use it to equip to a dark monster to increase its attack by 400, but it decreases their defense by 200. So I have quite a bit of dark monsters, so that's why I added this to my deck. Added the Snake Hair because I needed more dark monsters in my deck so that I can easily equip equip it with the Sword of Dark Destruction, so the more dark monsters I have, the better chance I have of equipping this card to any dark monster that I draw. So, 
also, um, I picked up a couple extra Wall of Illusions and also added that to my deck, so I now have a total of three. And it's good to have um, three Wall of Illusions. So, um, in case, like, say for instance, my opponent um, sacrifices and summons a Summon Skull, and they attack this, and then the Summon Skull returns back to their hand, and they have to sacrifice another monster in order to bring it back on the field. So it it forces them to um, bring out their weaker monsters, level 4 or lower, before they um, start sacrificing again. So it takes them off their game quite a bit, and it can really turn the tide of any duel. So enough about um, my deck review. It's time to um, be resume my dueling in tier 2. So I'm going to go after Mako and try to get revenge on him. You have made my life easier by volunteering yourself as prey for my monsters. It is very unfortunate, but your days are numbered. We'll see about that, Mako. Bring it on. So I start the duel. I'm going to set seven tools of the bandit and Wabaku face down. And I summon my seven colored fish to the field. And that'll end my turn. So I'm using a fish against a water expert, which is pretty ironic, but, and hopefully he changes the field to Umi, the water field, so it can power up my 7 color fish. So he said two face down cards, so I want to destroy one of them with Mystical Space Typhoon. And let's see what I've destroyed. It's a trap card, 7 tools of the bandit, so that was a nice play. And why not? I have another Mystical Space Typhoon, so I'll go ahead and activate that and destroy his second trap card. And it turns out it was a Kunai with Chain. Which you can shift an opponent's monster and attack to defense. In addition, you can increase the attack of one of your own monsters by 500. So I'm glad I got both of those out of the way. So without further ado, I'm going to summon Crawling Dragon number 2 to the field. Seven color fish attack his face down monster. So it's a fish of his own. Now my crawling dragon will attack him directly. 1600 life points has been depleted. So he summons his seven colored fish again. And I'll just let it go and allow him to defeat my crawling dragon. I'm just gonna save Wabaku in case of an emergency. So I have summon skull on the field that I'm going to sacrifice to bring him out, so I sacrifice my 7 colored fish. And now my summon skull will be able to defeat his 7 colored fish with a lightning strike. So things are looking good for me so far. Nico sets a monster in defense and in his turn. So I'm going to go ahead and activate Delinquent Duel at the cost of a thousand life points. He has to discard two random cards from his deck. Well, well my mistake is hand. Oh, why am I saying deck? So anyways, it's time to enter battle phase and my summon skull will destroy his face down monster and it's a magician of faith which allows him to pick up a magic card in his graveyard but he doesn't have any luckily for me. So I end my turn right here and he places a face down card in the magic and spell zone so I don't have any other monsters to summon, so I'm going to go ahead and attack him again with Summon Skull. But he has the Mirror Force, but I'm going to counter that with 7 Souls of the Bandit. So that's a nice play on my part. So my attack goes through his life points, and he's down to 3200. He activates Harpy's Feather Duster. Nothing I can do about that, and it's only a Wabaku, so it's not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead and re reborn a monster so I can finish off Mako. And it'll be 7 colored fish in attack mode. So I'm going to go ahead and finish Mako off right here and right now. 7 colored fish, attack, summon skull attack. Revenge is sweet. This battle you win, next time no matter what I will not lose. Ha 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 ha. Oh he is... He is a fish freak, I'm telling you. So here's that cyber... I mean, not cyber, harpy lady pack that I, I was telling you about earlier. 
So let's see what I've got. Wing Dragon, I don't need him. D Human, it's not strong enough. Practical, Fusion Monster. Eh, I'm not really into fusion monsters, especially ones that are that weak. Harpy Lady Sisters is the rare card in this pack. Can only be special summoned with the magic card Elegant Egotist. So I've no use for Harpy Lady Sisters, because I'm not a fan of those type of monsters. And I don't even have the individual Harpy Lady cards. And I don't even have Elegant Egotist. So there's no way I can use it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Thank you all for watching my Yu-Gi-Oh! The Eternal Duelist Soul Let's Play. Comment, like, sub, and in the next part, I will be dueling Rex Raptor for the first time. So, okay, I'll see you guys next time.